Hello, Music Bear here. Um, on forum, we have had a question: How to make um, automation stick with a recording uh, of uh, the automation? And um, the the user actually wanted to have uh, movements on the dials kept um, so that the next time he played. Uh, the, the the track uh, that uh, changes that he has made on the dials would be um, possible to hear uh, when he made the first replay. And he said that uh, nothing of what I am doing on the dials are recorded. So um, uh, my settings um, are ignored. Um, and that is because you have to um, link it to an automation track. So I want to show that here now. And what we're going to achieve in the end is something like this. Um <laughs> So that slide in the end uh, is uh, made manually and um, we're going to do that uh, here in, in, in this tutorial. I'm going to disable this one. And enable this one. Um, bye. So here we have the same instrument but we're going to do to redo what we have done on this one here. If I play this now, um, let me take this guy over there. It will go like this. <laughs> and you can hear there was no slide. And if I do a slide, I can try to do that. And then replay it. There's no slide. So we want to have that slide, but um, how I'm going to get this movement of this dial recorded so it fits with the note that I have here that I want to have a slide on. I'm, I'm by the way, sorry. Um, by the... yeah. Wasn't it Bach? Mm. I think it is. Johann Sebastian Bach. I'm sorry. Um, I know I'm, I'm doing bad things to your Elise, but well things happen. Uh, <laughs> add an automation track. So I'm gonna do that and we have to pull that up. It's not that one. Whoops! Here it comes. And now it's where it should be. So let's just close those. That automation track is going to record what I'm going to do manually here on the um, on the Synapse FX uh, interface. First, I'm going to place in the track like that, and I'm going to take the controller, the pitch, hold control, and drag it up and drop it into automation track. You've probably done that a lot of time and then you have drawn. Uh, open this by double clicking and drawn points um, and boop, 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 and uh, the uh, automation track would then control the dial when you replay. We're not going to do that now. It's actually very bad to get rid of this. Like that. The first thing we are going to do is to 
um, set uh, the curve, uh, the uh, progression actually, to the cubic. Oops! Please come back to the cubic hermite uh, progression, so we have a slide without any um, abruptions. But we also want to have a high Q value, so that every point that we record will be um, uh, will, will be used, right? And the tension is okay. We, we can change that if we want, but that's okay. Let's just keep it there. Uh, and the shape, uh, 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 sorry, the um, uh, uh, the magnification is also okay. So uh, we'll keep those also. No problem there. And then we can close this guy. So now we have prepared this here for uh, our um, capture of the, um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the movements of the dial. I now right click it and I go down here to set clear record. So this is a toggle button that will actually, uh, actually both set and remove uh, the record. This is very important. Immediately after you have made a successful uh, capture, you must change this back to not record anymore because it's recording all the time. And if the playhead passes over once more, your um, good recording or capture is history. It's gone. So remember to change that uh, th this this button here back to not record after you have recorded. Now put it on record, and you will see that it is shown here as a uh, a label. It says that this uh, automation track will now record what happens when the m when I move the dial. It's not it was Beethoven. Well, for release, wasn't it? <laughs> well, this is very embarrassing. Yeah, it's Beethoven. I, I guess that he is uh, the one that should be uh, mad about things. Oh, well, we were here, and um, I'll get a note from his lawyer next week um, on SMS. Um, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to start this now, and then I'm going to record what I'm doing with the pitch dial. This here. Listen. <laughs> and change this to not record anything else. So if I now double click this, you can see here is my automation. This is what I have recorded. And when I whoops, when I replay uh, well let's do that one and gone, thank you. Uh, when I replay now <coughs> So that was. I have manually changed a dial and I have recorded this manual change into an automation track in, in, uh, in, in, in uh, precise uh, synchronization with the music that uh, I was listening to when I made that change. That's how uh, elements can do that. By the way, you know all uh, dials in elements will reset to its default position if you middle click it. Boop. That's pretty nice. That's just a little hint. But with that, I think it's time to say that we have covered this um, about recording a um, 
manual movement into an automation track. And with that, I'll just say bye-bye.